You know, guys, I love classical music, especially at the Russian composer school. Rachmaninov, Tchaikovsky, Prokofiev, Rimsky, Korsakov, Mussorgsky, and Shostakovich. You know, in April 2016, when I've been to New York, I went 40 minutes by suburban train out of New York to the place which is called Valhalla, where it's located Kinsika Cemetery. And that's where it's located uh, the graveyards of Sergei Rachmaninov. I had to make a kind of huge way to visit the grave of Rachmaninov. But you know, here in St. Petersburg, where I live now in the center, I'm just one mile away from another great composer, Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Now, this is the square of Alexander Nevsky in the center of St. Petersburg with his statue, where's Alexander Nevsky on a horse. And that's the beginning of Nevsky Prospect, the main street of the city, actually. If look at the numbers of the houses, this is the end of Nevsky Prospect, but historically this is the beginning of Nevsky Prospect. And, uh, you know, these parts of Nevsky, from the square of uh, Alexander Nevsky to the square of Revolt or Uprising, uh, also known as an old Nevsky Prospect. And, you know, here's uh, located St. Trinity Alexander Nevsky Monastery, one of the oldest monasteries in St. Petersburg. The first mention was in 1710. And the year uh, uh, of when St. Petersburg was founded, 1703. So the first mention just seven years after the city was founded. Uh, but officially it was founded in um, 1713. And now in the architectural ensemble of this monastery, there's uh, several cemeteries and one of them is Necropolis of... Let me tell you for sure, the Necropolis of Art Masters. That's where I'm going now. And that's where it's located the uh, graveyards of Pyotr Tchaikovsky and not only, you know, a whole group of, I can say, one of the greatest composers ever. So, symmetry here and here and also on a territory of the Alexander Nevsky Monastery itself. But today our walk will be dedicated just to a necropolis of the art masters. So let's start our walk through the necropolis of art masters. Go to the right and see Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky, one of the most famous Russian writers, not only in my country, but uh, all over the world. Ideas, crime and punishments, Karamazov brothers, that's just not a full list of his well-known novels. So, that's here is the monument above his grave, Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky. But we are actually came here to see so-called the great handful, the great group of the Russian composers. They all are here. Let's go. You know, a lot of benches.
Okay, that's Mikhail Ivanovich Glinka and his second wife. They are buried together here, next to each other. Mikhail Ivanovich Glinka. You see, there's the uh, music notes on the top of his gravestone. And uh, his wife, Lyudmila Ivanovna Shostakova Glinka. And you know, almost, almost in front of uh, Glinka graveyard, here is the graveyard of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov, the most famous composition, The Flight of Bumblebee. It is now closed, uh, actually conserved with this wooden box for a winter. They use some materials, some materials there, which is actually not okay for a huge winter temperatures. And uh, here is the graveyard of Alexander Dergamyshsky. Here he is depicted as a little boy playing the flute. Well, so sad we can't see the uh, grave of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov, but oh well. And that's Modest Parfiryevich Musorgsky. Next to him, Alexander Borodin. Look behind him, here is the music notes as well. Alexander Borodin. And here is Cezar Antonovich Qi. It's really mind blowing how many great composers here just on a distance of 15 meters. It's mind-blowing. If you're the uh, musicians, it's definitely a must-visit place. Anton Grigorievich Rubinstein. He's also Russian composer, but he is greater as, first of all, a uh, virtuos pianist and as the founder of the first Russian conservatory in St. Petersburg. And, you know, still now, still now, this is actually uh, the best music school for the musicians, you know, conservatories in Moscow and in St. Petersburg. And of course, Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. He would be great even if he would write just a Swan Lake or maybe the Nutcracker or the piano concert number one. But imagine he wrote it all, and even more. Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. The headliner, if I can say so. Tchaikovsky. This is our national treasure. After all, let's just make uh, a little walk through the rest of the uh, necropolis. I guess you guys already noticed that um, only famous people here, only important people, if I can say so. I mean, 
but but it makes sense because you know this is the territory of uh, one of the oldest monasteries and St. Petersburg located in the center of the city. So no wonder they are giving these places only for uh, the uh, people who made uh, huge investments in uh, politics or culture or so. You see, not only the grave of uh, Rimsky Korsakov is under conservation, I see several, several more here, like this ones. As you can see, they are taking care about this graveyards very much because everything is clean and as you can see all the bushes are you know cutted okay guys stay tuned keep watching as will be a visit yet many many more interesting places here in saint petersburg in the best city of the world that's definitely the best city you know well, maybe if not in the world, but in Russia for sure. <laughs>